guess it's uh, pretty encouraging to see your, your team go 1-3. Uh, Obviously, you probably wanted to win to make the next two weeks easier, but how encouraging does that make the next two races for you? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, we had a really fast car today. It was just uh, our guys did a great job. Just got loose on the long run, and as the run went there, and, uh, you know, I always I was like, man, it's gonna track's going to tighten up here eventually, and it didn't. <laughs> so I would just kind of stay free the whole time and, um, you know, wish we had one more run there maybe. But I'm just, I'm so pumped for Riley. I mean, he worked so hard at it. They've had a rough year. And um, to have him win at his home track is, is pretty awesome for his first win. So I'm um, really happy for all our guys. We've worked so hard all year to get our cars better and better. And uh, we're really taking advantage of it now. Do you have a feeling that this race was going to be his after he passed you from the stage two win? Yes. <laughs> when, when I was around him, I was like, yeah, I got nothing for them. Like, it was, uh, they were really fast. I mean, I think we could have made our car a little better if we got another stop to tighten it up, but um, they were, they hit it. They hit it really good. Riley's really improved a lot this year. How much has he leaned off of you from your cup experience coming back down to Xfinity? How much has he leaned on you, and what advice have you kind of given him to see him improve? Yeah, I mean, I think he's just done a great job of, uh, you know, he, he really tries to study and, t you know, take it really seriously, and, um, you know, he's just done a great job building and building. You know, he's not somebody who gets lazy at it. They've just had a ton of bad luck this year, but um, it's just cool to see how far he's coming. And as teammates, we've just worked really well together, you know, bouncing ideas off each other, so it's worked out good. And as for the double zero, the next race, another mile and a half, um, does this race give you a lot of encouragement going into that one as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Homestead's always been a really good track for us, so, um, and obviously today lends well that we have a good mile and a half cars, so we just got to keep it rolling. You know, I thought it for a second, <laughs> you know, I think selfishly, you know, you're going to think that, but um, then, you you know, a lap goes by and you're like, eh, you know, he's he's racing his own race. Like, he deserves to go for a stage win, so it was, uh, I have no, nothing wrong with that, no. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.